Today we're going to be installing a BD track bar, uh, adjustable track bar kit on our 98 and a half 24 valve shop truck. This is a BD part number 103-2011-F. This is for the four wheel drive models. Uh, inside your kit you will receive your track bar which come in two sections, uh, then your adjustment sleeve, uh, a couple of bags of hardware, polyurethane bushings, your new relocation bracket for your, uh, for your new track bar. Uh, then you'll receive another bag with some hardware in it that will also have your instructions in this kit. Now, this kit is going to be uh, a little bit labor intensive, but should be a pretty easy install for you guys. Uh, just a basic list of tools that you're going to need, and these will actually come in your instructions as well. Uh, you're going to need a Sharpie or a metal marker, uh, some bearing grease, some anti-seize paste, 7 metric, 9 metric wrench, uh, 13 metric, 18 metric, 22 metric wrench or sockets, uh, 3 quarter wrench, half inch wrench, 15 16 socket, 2 inch open ended wrench or a large adjust or a large crescent wrench, a uh, torque wrench that's capable of handling up to 250 foot pounds, and a 3 quarter drill bit and a 9 16 drill bit. This is a 3 quarter drill bit, okay? You're probably not going to have this. Your normal everyday guy is not going to have this in, in his uh, in his in his drill bit arsenal. Uh, and to be honest with you, you probably more than likely won't have a nine sixteenths drill bit either. You can pick these up um, from like a Fastenal or uh, some other type of a hardware store. These drill bits will probably run you anywhere in the neighborhood, just depending on what quality you buy, twenty to forty dollars a piece. So be aware of that you are going to need a three quarter inch and a 9 16 drill bit for this, okay? Uh, center punch, electric or pneumatic drill, and a tape measure. So that basically gives you the tools that you're gonna need and what all comes inside the kit here. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with our installation. First off, I'm showing you how to remove your stock track bar. Okay, first off, we're gonna start off with removing our stock uh, track bar. So we're working on the driver's side of the truck here. Uh, 21 metric bolt uh, on this side. This truck's actually got a Luke's link on it. Uh, we're not going to rebuild this Luke's link. We're going to go ahead and, and remove the track bar. So first thing you need to do, remove your carter pin. All right. And then go ahead and remove the 21 metric bolt. And to separate the, uh, this end of the track bar from the, the truck's chassis, we're just going to use a pickle fork or a tie rod end fork. All right, once you've separated your track bar on the driver's side, you want to come over to the passenger side. There'll be an 18 metric bolt that'll be right here uh, underneath of the shock tower. Uh, it's, got a, it's got a keeper on it, so you just need to worry about uh, being on this side of the bolt. So loosen this, remove this bolt. All right, now you just need to remove your track bar. Got it, yep. Here's our stock track bar removed now from the truck. 
Okay, now we're going to begin our BD track bar installation. Okay, now we're going to drill a three quarter inch hole through the frame for our, our track bar bracket. The hole that you're going to be drilling is going to be an existing hole that's already in the frame. Uh, directly above our sway bar here, there's two bolts in the frame. Right here and right here. If you trace those over to the right, there's a large hole right behind them. This is the hole that we're going to enlarge. There's normally a ground strap here. We moved the ground strap on this motor. It's up on the, uh, it's higher on the frame rail, uh, but this is where the ground strap normally was. We're going to drill this hole right here. Now drilling this hole is very important because we're going to be going through the other side of the frame. When we go through the other side of the frame, you've got to make sure that you keep your drill level at all times uh, for fitment of your bracket. So now we're going to go ahead and drill our hole for our, our three quarter inch bolt our three quarter inch drill. Okay, now that we've got our three quarter inch hole drilled through our frame, where we're gonna be starting to get our, uh, our track bar bracket fitted up. First thing we're gonna do is inside your hardware kit, there will be a tapered bushing. Uh, this tapered bushing will go into uh, the spot on the frame where the original track bar connected on the driver's side. Uh, so the tapered bushing will go right into this hole. Now, according to BD's instructions, they say if, this, if you have any problems with this uh, staying in there, Put a little bit of grease around it, axle grease, and that'll hold it up. So, All right, you just fit it in there flush. Okay, and perfect. Okay, now we need to remove the brake line bracket from the front engine support. Uh, this is a 13 metric bolt. Just go ahead and loosen it up. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to push the brake line up and out of our way to get more access to this hole right here. Uh, We'll actually be drilling through this, so what we're going to do is remove the bolt. Okay, and then just push the brake line, simply push it up and out of our way. And remove the bracket out of our way too, okay? And that gives us access to the hole. All right. Okay, before you put your retrofit bracket up, what you've got to do is you've got to determine if the weld line on the face of where the track bar was attached to is thicker than the 5 8 washer that's included in the kit. Now, there's two of these washers. Uh, if your weld line is not as thick as this washer is, if your weld line is not as thick as the washer, then you don't use the washer. But our weld line's a pretty good size, and you can see once when we place the washer up there that the washer is actually going to be smaller than the weld line. So we're in good shape there, so we're going to be using our washer. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to place our retrofit bracket up and we're going to put uh, some of our mounting hardware on and we're, we're just going to loose fit everything. Uh, your retrofit bracket goes like this. Uh, the long arm goes behind the, the uh, engine support cross member. Uh, your hardware packet is called out by part numbers in your kits, but this is a 5 8 uh, fine bolt, uh, two flat washers and a lock washer, and a lock nut is what we're going to be using. So first off we've got to have our washer, remember we talked about between our original track bar mounting hole and the retrofit bracket. So we will place it as best we can right there. And now we're going to bring our bolt up from the bottom. All right. And now here on our top side, we'll go flat washer, lock washer, and lock nut. On this side, we are lock nut, lock washer, and flat washer. All right, next piece of hardware that we're going to install is going to be our inch or half inch by four and a half inch bolt. Uh, this will be another lock washer, flat washer, and a lock washer. This collared uh, sleeve here, the collared sleeve will actually go in the frame itself in the three quarter hole that you drilled in the uh, the flat part of the collar goes inside the frame rail. We'll just go ahead and install that right now. that okay and 
Then there's another, there's a plate washer and a flat washer that'll go on the outside. So we're just gonna go ahead and install that now. Flatten our lock washer. And now our lock nut. Okay, this is really the hardest part of our install because we're gonna have to drill two five sixteenths bolts uh, on the retro on the retrofit bracket to the the uh, the cross the cross member here underneath the, uh, the cross member here on the frame. So what we've done is we've got a retrofit bracket up and we've got it loosely bolted up and we're just going to look at how the bracket itself will pull uh, once we begin to tighten it okay and what we've done is we've actually put our stock uh, bolt back in just for reference okay and everything fit up nicely there what we're going to do now is we're going to mark this with that bolt in and pressing up on this bracket, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna make a mark. All right, and now what that'll allow us to do is we're gonna go in and center punch that now, and we're gonna take the bracket down and we'll drill a 5 16 hole through both of these. Now it needs to go through both sides of the frame. You'll go back into your existing hole, you'll widen it out to 5 16 then you'll go into your second hole, start a hole here with 5 16 and then punch it all the way through. Then once you have your both holes all the way through the frame and everything uh, lined up the way that you want it, you'll come back to the front side of the cross member, to the front side, and you'll drill this hole through the front side out to half an inch. Uh, and we'll show you that, but with the camera and where we're at on this truck, we're just not gonna be able to get all of this on camera. So we're gonna show it to you once we get everything lined back up okay. after we now drill. we've got our holes drilled through our cross member again uh, this hole on the back side is 5 16 uh, closest to the firewall and you drill the other side drill 5 16 all the way through then you come back to the front side and drill it through at a half inch and then you'll want to deburr it because our, your sleeves will just going to be just a little bit bigger than just a little bit bigger than half inch so your hardware pack for 5 16 uh, will come with sleeves in it so what we're going to do is we're going to put those sleeves in now. All right. Okay. And there's both of them there lined up. And we've got our holes deburred just enough to where our sleeves will fit in. Now we're going to put our retrofit bracket back on and we're going to tighten everything up. Okay. Uh, one of our last piece of hardware that we haven't installed yet is this long bolt that's called out in the instructions. It's got two wedge blocks that you'll be installing, okay? And the bolt will actually come through from the top of the frame with a wedge block attached to it. And what that's gonna do is the way the frame's gonna run, that wedge will turn like that and that way the bolt will be level. Okay, so it goes in from the top. Kind of hard to finagle it. Okay, there it comes. All right. Now, once you got it through, and you know you got your you got your block oriented the correct way. You'll put your bottom wedge on and your nut and lock washer. All right, so that's our last piece of hardware 
uh, right here. Now we start our tightening sequence. We've got both of our 5 16 bolts on the front. They're good. Uh, this bolt through the original mounting point of the track bar and then our cross through our cross through bolt here with the sleeve on it. So now we're going to start our tightening sequence uh, and we'll show you what the, the sequence will be as we, as we go along and the uh, the ratings that it's supposed to be torqued to. Okay, we've got all of our hardware in. We're ready to start tightening on this. First uh, bolt that you tighten in your torque sequence is the bolt going back through the existing uh, track bar holder. Uh, it is a 15 16 and you will be tightening, tightening this to 240 foot-pounds. So this is our tightest bolt in the, in the set. All right, next in our tightening sequence is going to be our half-inch bolt going through the frame here. Uh, this has got the large washer on the outside. Uh, what we've done with it, a large crescent wrench will hold it, or uh, we put a pair of channel locks on this one. These are three quarters both sides. Your torque spec for this is going to be 30 foot pounds. All right. Next two bolts that you're going to tighten in the sequence is your two five sixteenths right here. Both these bolts are going to get torqued to 20 foot pounds. Last bolt to tighten is the, going, the bolt going through the bottom of the frame, and this one is the one that this will be the last one you tighten. You're going to tighten it to 30 foot pounds as well, three quarter inch on it too. All right, now we're going to be working on the track bar itself. Uh, this is the passenger side track uh, track bar section. It's the shorter of the two track bar sections, and what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be putting a grease fitting in. Uh, the passenger side track bar section takes the angled grease fitting. You just want to go ahead and thread that in there. And nine metric to tighten it down. And when you end up, you want to make sure that the grease fitting is pointing down the bar. Like so. That'll work right there. If you take it too much, it'll probably break it off. But we'll stop right there. All right, now we're going to be putting our, our polyurethane bushings into our passenger side uh, section of the track bar. Uh, supplied bag of grease here. We're just going to go ahead and put a little bit of grease on here. Go ahead and Smear that all over the, the bushing itself. to insert the bushings. Probably the easiest way to do this, just got one set of hands here, is just go ahead and put it in a vise. Let the vise do the work for you. Press that bushing in. Okay, and then we're going to put our metal bushing in the center. Let's go ahead and put a little grease on it as well. And we'll let the vice do the work again. And 
And then our, that's got our passenger side track bar assembled. Okay. Same thing for the driver's side track bar. We're going to put our grease fitting in again. This is a straight grease fitting. This is a seven metric to tighten this one down. Just simply tighten it down good and snug. Don't break it off. Okay. Same thing on the bushings. All the bushings are the same, so you're not going to get the wrong bushing in the wrong place. Go ahead and grease her down. That's got our driver's side track bar assembled. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start with our pre preliminary uh, assembling of the track bar. And what you wanna do is get your passenger side track bar in and the left hand nut, you wanna go ahead and thread the jam nut up onto it. And it'll only go one way. It's again, it's left hand threaded. So go ahead and run your jam nut all the way down on it. All right. And then your track bar adjustment sleeve, you'll want to mark it. I think it's marked, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's marked for left-hand thread. So this is your left-hand threaded side. So go ahead and put your adjustment sleeve. Up on your passenger side. And run it about halfway up. We're going to get our measurements next. So there's nothing precise about this. Okay. Now your driver's side track bar is right hand threaded, so you want to get your right hand threaded jam nut and go ahead and run it all the way up. All right, now what you want to do is you want to take your stock track bar and you're going to be measuring from center of the, uh, of the passenger side hole all the way to approximate center, center line of, the, of where it attaches on the driver's side. So this is about 38 inches, okay? So that's the length of our stock track bar. Now our BD track bar, we're gonna assemble the BD track bar and then we're gonna add an inch and a half in total length to the track bar as it's assembled and we're gonna try to keep it to where, um, we're gonna try to keep it to where we have equal number of threads on both sides. So we wanna get our BD track bar to uh, 39 and a half inches from center line to center line and with just about equal amount of threads on both sides. That's pretty close. All right. All right, so we're looking for 39 and a half inches and that's 41. All right, so Need to close her up just a little bit here. Now, if you could hold it on two ends, 
and you could grab the collar and pull the collar in, but unfortunately we can't do that. So we're gonna go ahead and grab it from both ends and we're gonna try to turn both sides a little bit at a time. All right, go ahead, your side. Get the left hand through. All right, good. Let's try that. And we're all. That's forty and a half. Alright, take yours a couple turns. Okay. Perfect. Thirty nine and a half. So as you can see, and we've got about equal numbers of threads between the two. Uh, so the, the both sides of the track bar are threaded in the same side. So we're going to leave it loose for right now until we get in the truck. We're going to go ahead and run our jam nuts down, get them a little bit closer, and then we'll get ready for installation. All right, we've got our track bar assembled now, and we've got everything, uh, we've left everything loose here. We're at 39 and a half inches. We've got our, uh, all of our grease fittings pointing down. That's where it's going to give us the best access. And what we've also done is we've, we've taken the steering stabilizer down here to where we can get to it. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to mount up the passenger side. You'll be using your mounting bolts, uh, your factory mounting bolts. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get it in, and then th then we'll line up the we'll line up the driver's side uh, by starting the truck and turning the wheel. These go your way a bunch. Outside. Hey, Lord. Yeah, there you go. Get over. There you go. Keep coming my way. Keep coming my way. Okay. Hold on just a second. Yeah, go ahead and turn that wheel just a little bit. I got it. I got it. Turn it to the passenger side just a little bit. Other way. Try the other way. All right. All right. Come on back. There, I got it. There. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. You good?
Yeah. 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 Push up. Take it on up. All right, now that we have the passenger side tight, this is 18 metric here, Then we got the passenger side tight, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in the truck because we're at 39 and a half inches, exactly where we should be. We're gonna get in the truck and we're gonna turn the wheel. And when we turn the wheel, that's gonna give enough, uh, that's gonna let us line this side up uh, and get, get the bolt in for the driver's side. What do you need me to do? What do you need? Okay, now that we have our, our, dry, our passenger side uh, bolt, stock bolt in and nut, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to tighten up the uh, going to tighten up the driver side here. Uh, this is all going to be 7 8 hardware and we're going to be torquing this to 150 foot pounds. We're going to go ahead and run it in now with an impactor just to, uh, to, just to speed up the process just a little bit. Okay, final thing to do on our BD track bar install, what we're gonna do is we've already set up our alignment about where we want it. Uh, and to set the alignment, what you'll do is you'll loosen up both of your jam nuts and then you can adjust the center section of the, of the track bar right here. Uh, and then once, you do, once you've got it where you want it, 
take your jam nuts, a two inch wrench, and tighten up your jam nuts. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and have it professionally uh, aligned because we don't have an alignment tool here at the shop, but you know we can only eyeball it so far. But to save tire wear, it needs it really needs to go on a computer. So tighten up your jam nuts, put your steering stabilizer back on, and once your steering stabilizer is on, that completes your install of your BD track bar installation. So if you have any questions on this installation or any other installation, just give us a call. Thank you.